sad evidence. Our life is just a series of such challenges. But if we stay alive, it is certain to triumph in the end. Good morning everyone. My name is Ashi Malik and I am from Little Class Public Senior Secondary School. And today I am here to make you aware of some of your responsibilities after lockdown. Jahan hai to jahan hai. The statement is very true. So let's just get to know that what is COVID-19 and how it spreads. We all have been listening this term for so long that majority of us don't know its real meaning. So let's just get to know. Coronavirus disease, COVID-19, is an infectious disease caused by a newly discovered coronavirus. The virus that causes COVID-19 is mainly transmitted through droplets generated when an infected person coughs or sneezes. These droplets are too heavy to hang in the air and quickly fall on floors or surfaces. Next up is lockdown. Majority of us are following this lockdown for so long but don't know that what its meaning is. What is lockdown? A lockdown is a requirement for people to stay where they are, usually to specify risk to themselves or to others if they can move freely. The term stay at home order is often used for lockdown that affects an area rather than specific location. Now, what is the need of this lockdown? As we know, you know, government is emphasizing people to follow this lockdown. Every means of communication in India nowadays is making or spreading awareness about coronavirus and lockdown. So what is the need of this lockdown? So let's just get to know. As we know, COVID-19 is infectious disease and can pass through human contact easily. That's why lockdown is important. When humans can transmit COVID-19 in many humans, to break the chain, lockdown is needed. Next. Now, we all know that lockdown is nearing its end and government is pulling off this lockdown. So what is the need of opening this lockdown? Let's just get to know. To ensure that the medical crisis due to COVID-19 pandemic does not snowball into a devastating economic crisis. Government will have to restart the economy after May 3rd with adequate safeguards and surveillance. If we are unable to bring economy back on the track, India could lose 30 to 40 millions of jobs by end of 2020. We all know that India is not such a prosperous country. People in India are poverty stricken, they are poor, and in that case, Losing 30 to 40 millions of jobs will be very devastating and it will be, it, it will be a great harm for India's economy. Next, we all should know our responsibilities that we share during the lockdown. So let's just get to know what role do we play during lockdown. Most people are voluntarily following the restrictions, but there are some, either due to ignorance or arrogance, who are not ready to make the sacrifices needed to be in this pandemic. Every religious activity has been on hold in lieu of coronavirus outbreak. Still, if we see any of the gathering around, it's a responsibility to guide and report if required. Spreading the right knowledge, right videos, and ensure them that we are going to win this battle. Next, the responsibilities that we share after lockdown. Social distancing, avoid mass gathering, and maintain hygiene. So let us get to know that what is social distancing? Social distancing is basically physical distancing. We can follow social distancing by the following measures. Avoid crowded places and non-essential gathering. Avoiding common greetings such as handshake. Limiting contact with people at higher risk. Keeping a distance of at least two arms away from others as much as possible. So these are the basic norms that we have to follow while following social distancing. Now comes the role of parents or guardians towards their wants. 
the people lost will be missed, but a sense of togetherness and love for other people will prosper. It's a responsibility of each one of us to keep air seeds fresher, the trees cleaner, and the oceans bluer. Make them learn to appreciate every moment we spend with our friends and our families and the calling and making memories. Next is technology. We all know technology has been very helpful during this lockdown period. It has helped people to connect to their loved ones. Also, it has helped students to take online classes. So let us get to know how technology has proven to be a boon during this lockdown. In an evolving crisis, when no one is able to say for sure when it will be contained and what its long-term impacts would be, the stress will be placed unequally on the individual and society and on the government. The biggest saving grace has been technology, the internet and telecommunication that is enabling people to be walking around the globe without compromising or running a risk to their health and others' people help in their pursuit to keep working and economy tricking. Next up is role of students during lockdown, which is very important. The students should know what are the roles and responsibilities that we share during this lockdown. As an adversity is always a big opportunity, we have to give our 100% in study. We, the public school children of Delhi, are blessed with the facility of online studies, 24 hours electricity and internet connection. During this lockdown period, we have to nurture our capabilities, hobbies and increase our inner strength. When this lockdown period will end, we will have to start our schools again. But as per scientific research, Corona will persist for three to four more years. So we have to do a lot of hard work to boost our immunity. This can be done by taking a healthy diet and a natural natural products prescribed by Ayush Mantralaya, regular yoga, meditation, and breathing exercises. So here are some ways by which we can boost up our immunity. We should get enough sleep, eat more whole plant foods, eat more healthy fats, limit added sugars, stay hydrated, manage our stress level, and last but not the least, we should exercise and uh, meditate to boost, to boost up our stamina and gain immunity for fighting against COVID. Thank you for listening so carefully. Eminent British historian, Anon J. Donovan said, those living in the age of crisis must become the pioneer of better future. Striving to find positive solution and thereby turning the age into one of the greatest achievements. No matter how long the winter of hardship and adversity might exist in this age of pandemic, we students will greatly benefit and blossom splendidly without fail. I am confident if we younger generation students join their hands together and have faith with our fear and his vision of self-sufficient and self-reliant India, I am sure in this scenario of economic crisis and lockdown, we will able to make better India, powerful India and self-sufficient India. Thank you and have a nice day.